Hi fellow Webflowers. So when you develop a Webflow website and you want it to be maintainable or just improve your workflow, a thoughtful page structure is crucial. In this video, I'm going to show you the page structure that I use and why it makes sense. And if you watch until the end, I will give you an extra tip to boost your productivity. So the first thing is a diff called page wrap. This comes right after the body and is the parent to everything else. At the time of the recording, you can't select the body to copy the content of the page. But when you use a page wrapper like this, you can copy everything except the body. Next is a component that consists of an embedded field. In this embedded field, I keep all my custom CSS, but there are two things you need to keep in mind. First, only put CSS in this embed and don't mix it up with scripts. As soon as you have scripts in this embed, the code including your CSS will only get executed on the published page. That would mean that your page looks different in the designer than the published version. Second, you must have the component in all pages. Because the embed field is a component, your custom code stays synced over your entire project and compared to putting your CSS into the custom code tab of your project settings, you save up a lot of time. Next comes the navigation. If you select your navigation and go to the settings, you can choose the nav tag. This will make it easier for Google to understand the content of your page. Then I have a diff called main wrap. This one contains all the content of the page. In the settings, you can also set the tag to be main to improve your SEO. And the last one is the footer. This is a section or a diff that contains your footer. In its settings, you can also set the tag to footer for the given reasons. If you wonder where to put your scripts and custom jQuery, I would recommend to go to your project settings and place them in one of the fields for the custom code. This way, everything can be found at one place. However, while working on your project, you probably want to make quick changes to your custom scripts and check if they are working. For this case, many Webflow developers set up a JS file on codesandbox.io. This way you can test your scripts on the live site without publishing all the time. Oh, and here's my productivity hack for you. Select the page wrap and create a component from it. So each time you create a new page, you can easily start by adding the component. This will save you a lot of time and bring consistency to your project. And in case you want to know which class naming strategy I recommend, you can watch this video now. Thanks for watching and as always, stay in the flow.